<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today Jordan said I'm going to talk about, you know, I'm going to talk about why I don't want to be a YouTube partner. Now, I know I've made videos in the past criticizing YouTube partnership for, for stuff. And there were certain partners that couldn't handle partnership being criticized, like Housing 920 or the Habby Cabby. Um, now, Jordan said, here's the reason why I don't want to be a YouTube partner. Now, YouTube partners never confirm or deny any of this stuff. You always hear about people who once used to be a partner talk about some of the policies and some of the stuff that goes on. But the partners themselves never really confirm or deny any of this. For example, you lose control over your YouTube channel. Basically, you have to set aside, you know, areas in your favor or playlist for third party to put stuff on there. If that's true or not, I really don't know. I have been to some partner YouTube channels, and far as I'm concerned, all the favorite playlists happen to be their selection. There's no evidence or proof to say that it's somebody else's selection. But, Jordan says, YouTube partners basically get their videos moderated, right? You know, get their videos moderated after they upload and process and become playable. It is true. I have been, partners have had, there, there's a yes, there's an answer and question, there's an answer thing, a check, a checklist of everything that's in your video and is not in your video before you upload, process it, and before you submit it for them for approval, you know. But the reasons that I don't want to be a YouTube partner is because I'm afraid, Jordan says, that the whole moderating. And you know that the people at YouTube don't always make good judgment calls when it comes to reviewing videos. Either if they've been flagged for violating YouTube community guidelines, or they've been flagged for committing copyright infringement. You know, they always seem to sometimes make bad calls. And I'm afraid that I, if I was a YouTube partner and I submitted a video, it'd be like this. Oh, this video violates YouTube community guidelines. It's gone. You lost your good standing. Yeah, it, you take or you take as a partner, you take more of a risk of getting your videos in trouble with community guidelines quicker than you do if you were just a normal YouTuber. Okay. Now I know people are gonna say, yeah, but at least when you up, at least well, when you're an original YouTuber, you don't have to submit your stuff for YouTube to look at it. Yeah, it's true your videos can be flagged for violating YouTube community guidelines or committing copyright infringement. It is true. But you don't have to submit your videos for YouTube for them to look at, you know, right at the front. You know, so you don't really have to worry about if somebody at YouTube going to deem your videos inappropriate by community guideline standards or something. Another thing is, Jordan says, is that a lot of partners claim that YouTube and Google help you set your AdSense account up. No, it's not true. You do have to go through the Google AdSense, make the Google Ad, you do have to make the Google AdSense account, get the Google AdSense team to approve that said Google AdSense account. Then after that, you have to then somehow link it with your YouTube account, and you gotta wait and it's not easy as people claim because there is may there is basically they might send you steps but i hardly doubt that they actually help you you know there's going to be partners saying oh they're they're, they're going to be partners saying well they help you set up your google adsense account and then they emerge it with your youtube account no there's no evidence and proof to back that up at all okay really there's no proof no one's actually made a video saying, look, here is the Google AdSense team. Here's the YouTube. Here, here's the Metcha saying, go to this link and click on that. Wait for approval. There is no evidence or proof. No one's ever shown that on any of their channels. Okay. 
Um, you two partners make more money than Rinchel. No, they make a percentage of money from their Google AdSense account or Google AdWords account if they have it, but they don't make as much money as the normal Google employee would earn on a daily basis. Yes, they do have, yes, Google does take out for federal and state and local taxes. Yes, they do do that, but it's not the same earnings. People who earn a percent of ad revenue from YouTube partnership through Google AdSense from Google do not earn the same amount as a Google employee. Plus, people who are YouTube partners are not business partners of YouTube. They don't work for YouTube or any of Google's divisions or subsidiaries. Okay. Another thing that I'm a, another thing is you get rejected. Yeah. YouTube always likes to reject people. You know, you, 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 it's, it's always been that way. And I don't want to go for all that hard work with the Google AdSense and the Google AdSense team and YouTube and the whole partnership approval and stuff and then be told, oh, you've been rejected because you use a webcam recorder. And uh, you don't use transformations and special effects and intros and outros and midtros. And your videos don't get enough views. Another thing before I end this video is that YouTube partners deny this. They do never confirm or deny it, but they have to be advertiser friendly. Now, you might think to yourself, advertising friendly, you might think, oh, that means following the community guidelines or copyright. No. Following being advertiser friendly means making videos that advertisers feel friendly enough buying advertising time during, before, or after the video or on the channel. So you can be a channel that basically follows the YouTube community guidelines and the YouTube copyright guidelines, but you can have a video that's on advertiser friendly. So I don't want to be told, oh, Jordan, this video is not advertising friendly. The advertisers don't want to advert, don't want to have advertising time during, before, and after your video or your channel. So there you go. Reasons why I don't want to be a YouTube partner. And if any YouTube partner wants to, wants to claim that I am got things wrong, wants to confirm or deny any of this stuff, then I'm looking very, looking very forward to this debate. But most YouTube partners are way too busy, and none of them will have the time or day to come on and say you're right about this, wrong about that. So I'm Jordan Long. I hope you enjoyed this video.